All right, we normally uh, go right to the, the questions, but I got a couple of things. First, shout out to uh, Coach Bennett, call him Big T, uh, and the boys. Man, best of luck tonight. Y'all go. Uh, y'all worked all year for this, man. Go get it done. Uh, excited to watch you play. Uh, a couple of things from a staff perspective. Uh, we, uh, we got a new linebacker coach uh, that will be joining this week. His name is Mike Adams. Uh, he was uh, most recently uh, hired as the D.C. at uh, West Georgia, but prior to that he was at Mercer, South Carolina State, South Alabama. Uh, has a ton of, uh, of experience. He's worked with uh, many uh, many guys you know at the FCS level uh, and developed them and, and helped them transition to the uh, NFL it was a man it was a very thorough uh, process we interviewed uh, five guys for the job and uh, at the end of the day we felt like uh, as a staff that he did the best job from an interview perspective and gives us what we need at this moment with the transition uh, with uh, with coach Clinton you know really happy for uh, for coach Tintum and an opportunity to uh, to transition on to uh, to Illinois and uh, so man I wish him and Angie uh, the best of luck they were nothing but a uh, loyal uh, soldiers to the program uh, it was just an opportunity that he could not pass up and uh, wish him nothing but the best. Also got uh, uh, Mike Hollins will be joining us as a student uh, assistant coach for the uh, for the spring. So really, really excited uh, about that. Um, still have a couple of open positions that I got to fill, uh, but we're also going to have a transition uh, at the GA position. And I'm excited that uh, Jerry Raymond is going to join us uh, as a graduate assistant. So I got a couple young uh, guys that just finished up that uh, want to get their feet wet in coaching. And we're excited to have those guys uh, back in the, uh, in the program. So with that, uh, I'll transition to uh, to any other questions? Day one, how, yeah. How was day one, big picture, looking at it. Man, it was fun. It's just, it's just fun. It's been <laughs> too long of, a, of an off season, you know. Uh, hopefully, that won't be the case uh, this year. Uh, but it was just good to be back on the grass. Uh, good to, to actually uh, get a chance to put our hands on these guys and work with them. And Coach Schmo, uh, Kelly, Enza. Um, the rest of the strength staff, uh, sports medicine equipment, they've done an excellent job uh, getting the guys to this point, um, but both physically and mentally. And now we get an opportunity for 15 practices to engage with them on the field. So it was a lot of fun, good energy. Uh, it was fun to see some of the, new, the newcomers uh, move around. Uh, I'm excited to go watch the tape. Uh, still got, you know, first day things that you got to clean up and the installs aren't going to marry up because uh, defense is working their core stuff, offense is working their core stuff. But I thought overall the tempo was really good. Guys were moving around. Uh, you saw that the core values carried over. Um, still got to teach a little bit of that to some of the new guys. But, man, I was just excited to be on the grass and it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. What's in your mind relationship with Mike Adams? Yeah, so when I when I first went to South Carolina State, uh, he was hired in to uh, to coach on on defense and and right out the and obviously a little bit more experience than me. He'd already been in the business for a little while, but you know just his presentation, his demeanor, ability to communicate, um, just the tenacity in which he coaches with. He's a great teacher. He understands the game at an extremely uh, extremely high level, uh, and so we felt like from a developmental standpoint, you know, he was gonna gonna help our guys, you know, kind of take the next step. Uh, now with the opportunity, and then also a ton of, of support with his experience to the defensive staff, just with game planning opportunities and, and just the many different systems that he's been a part of. He's going to bring a, a, a ton of knowledge to help us. And, you know, he's proven. You know, he's taking guys from, from the lower level, uh, many guys, you know, under his tutelage that have had an opportunity to develop and go play in the National Football League. So we felt like it was just a good fit uh, for us all the way around. So you, you guys, you hired guys who work at lower levels. Mm -hmm. and you, you thought it helped you, I think, at Virginia. Why is that? And, uh, you know, why? Why has it worked? Yeah, um, you know, just coming up through the ranks, you know, when you're working at a smaller school, man, you got to do a little bit of everything. So, so not only do you just gain football experience, but you just gain, you know, college experience because you might be a position coach, but you're also the housing liaison. You're the financial aid liaison. You're the, you're the liaison to the dining hall. Like, you're doing a lot of things that uh, at bigger schools, a lot of times you, uh, you have different individuals in place for that. So, uh, for me, it's just, I think it helps with where we are as a program, as we're building. You know, obviously, we want to continue to, to grow uh, to, that, to that level. But uh, I just feel, you know, to giving guys that are credible an opportunity at this level and I know that they're going to be loyal they're going to work hard and they're going to grind no job is going to be too small uh, they're going to be invested um, you know you have to be all about relationships you know at the lower level uh, with those guys one to get them to recruit them to come and then and to be able to keep them to play for you so uh, there's a lot of factors that go into it uh, but in this case this situation it wasn't as much uh, from a lower level as you know he was the most qualified guy that we brought in and, and did the best job uh, from an interview standpoint a lot of guys in the 
Evans up. Yeah. Anyone that's going to miss the entire spring? Yeah, so so there's going to be several. Uh, we, we, you know, Brian Stevens will probably be down for the for the spring. Um, we'll see where Jimmy Christ is. You know, he may he may get back to do some some footwork stuff. I think Bowley will be down most of the spring. Uh, Mike will probably be down uh, most of the spring. Um, let's see who else is over there. Josie will be down. Uh, Greasy will be down. Eli, Delaney, uh, so Sage, uh, Ennis. So we got a we got a good number that that were in yellow today that'll be down. But you know Caleb is uh, expected to return. You know so we'll get a couple guys back in the, the latter part of spring once we get through the Easter break. Uh, we're hoping to get some guys back in early April. A lot of those older guys in the online sideline. What are you hoping to see from those young guys? Compete, compete and take advantage of your opportunity. Develop, grow, fundamentally get better. Uh, improve your understanding of the system, uh, and now that you have an opportunity, go, go, you know, go earn, go earn your stripes, and and develop so that we have competitive depth. I think, you know, we, we have an opportunity probably for the first time since we've been here to have more competitive depth on the offensive line once all of the veteran guys return from uh, from injury, and if we're able to, to to truly develop some of these younger guys. So it's a great opportunity for them just to go compete, learn, grow, get better fundamentally, uh, and position themselves for when we hit fall camp to really go push those older guys. What's it like from your perspective? Just being out here for the first time, looking around and seeing so many of these new faces, you know, putting names, numbers, to faces, to positions, and just sorting it all out. Yeah, uh, it's 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 a lot of fun. You know, because that's, that's what you want. You want numbers. You want competition. Because competition, you know, breeds uh, the the performance that we're that we're looking for. So it's fun to see these guys. And 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 you've been you've been you've been talking. You've been um, doing you know football kind of drills. Now you get a chance to actually do football. So you get to see Andre. You get to see Tyree. You get to see uh, Corey. You get to see Kempton. You get to see Kendrick. You get to see all these guys actually move a jam. You get to see them actually move around from a football perspective. So I'm excited to to see them on film because uh, you don't get you, as I can't see everything right but now I got the rest of the day to go in there and actually the best part for me is I get to coach football <laughs> right for 15 practices this is probably the, the only time of the year where I actually get to just really coach football I'm not you know pulled in so many different directions and then just with the stagger of practice and having a day off in between you know I can kind of compartmentalize and organize my my day to where I actually get to coach a little bit of football over the next three, four weeks, mm -hmm. kind of what sort of area are you kind of hoping to see in terms of improvement from the guys? I want to see us fundamentally get better. You know, all of us, you know, just at every position, just the fundamentals from the stance, the start, the eye discipline, pad leverage, hand placement, right? Making sure that, that, that our fundamentals are carrying over into scheme. Uh, I want to see us get better offensively and protecting the football. You know, I think we've made strides procedurally, you know, guys going in the right direction, but we got to improve fundamentally. We got to improve uh, from a ball security standpoint. I want to see us really embrace the identity of who we want to be as a football team. And we want to play fast. We want to be intelligent. We want to be tough. Uh, so those are things that I'm that I'm working about. Scheme, you know, we're going to get some work at it, but right now we're, we're we're not scheming against each other. We're working on you know the core offense and defense and special teams that we want to carry into the season. So uh, I just want to see this team come together because we got the bulk of our team is here. You know, there's only a couple guys that'll be joining us uh, in the summer. So I want to see these guys really start to become a, a unified team, all pulling in the same direction. Leadership uh, emerge. Because uh, at the end of the day, the best teams that I've been around are, are led from the locker room up. Um, and that's, that's, that's really what, what I'm focusing on. That's why I told the guys after practice today, hey, as long as we bring great energy, we're committed to the, to the, to the fundamentals and the details, getting better. Schemes aren't going to match up, but let's go compete. And if we compete and leadership will emerge, it'll carry into the summer. And then when it's time to really fine tune and hone in uh, for, for the opponents that we're going to play, we'll be, we'll, we'll be where we want to be. To bring the new guys along and have so many of those veterans back, the Cam Butler, the Sanker, the Jim Jackson. Uh, is it easier to bring the new guys along? It's been it's been awesome to watch those guys embrace you know the guys that that we brought in, and so they've they've done a great job. So you'll see them in their off time; they're all sitting up there watching film together. The DBs all get together, you know, young, old, new. Uh, guys that have been here, men are watching film together, trying to get better. Same thing with those those front guys, those edge guys, you know, trying to help uh, lead and the linebacker, same thing. And then the you know, offensive guys have done the same thing. So so it, it is a little bit easier when you have buy-in from the guys that are on your roster. And and they they uh, they trust that that the way we're building the roster is the right way and the type of young men that we're bringing in are going to complement them uh, and help them uh, get better as well.
Hey, uh, Jeff, do you have anything you want to jump in with? Yeah, good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, Coach, your first spring here, you and your staff were installing your system mm -hmm. and getting used to your players. Year two, the university was still recovering mm -hmm. from the tragedy. Does this spring feel different in that regard, and if so, how? Just the, the time leading up to it is different. You know, the focus has been more on preparation for spring practice, whereas last year we didn't know what it was going to be like. You know, we were preparing for the unknown, where now we were able to, to kind of have football school leading up to it. So we were able to turn them over to the strength staff, and they're able to focus on the off-season program. And then as we got closer to the starter spring practice, the coaches are able to have an hour or two a week to start talking football. So we're able to install a lot of the offense and defense and, and special teams before we ever hit the grass for the first time. So we feel like we're just we're, we're, we're ahead uh, from that standpoint because we've truly had an off season to be able to prep for when we actually hit the grass uh, today. I guess with, with, with your team, uh, who, who are you looking to see jumps from this spring? Are there certain guys on the roster that you think after last year they maybe showed something but you're going to need more out of them this spring? All of them. I want to see. I want to see them all uh, all improve. But uh, you know, both the quarterbacks. You know, I'm, I'm excited to see them take the next step. You know, it was good to see Tony out there, and I mean, he's he's full go. You know, throwing the ball, looking good. So I was excited. Now, you know, we got to protect him. He can't he can't take any contact at all uh, this spring. But I mean, he's in there, no restrictions in terms of, of what he's able to do. We just got to make sure that there's no contact. And so so watching him continue to develop his leadership uh, skills and 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 command of the offense, and and then really see. Columbus Andrea, you know, take that next step just in terms of, of completing his game. Because I think we all know what he's capable of just from a, from a pure talent standpoint. So watch him take that next evolution. So I'm excited about, you know, where they are from a competition standpoint. Uh, all those guys up front uh, that, are, that are competing, see them take the next step. Uh, so especially with as many young guys uh, that are there, see them all uh, continue to, to improve. Uh, see which young running back, you know, is going to, going to step up. Uh, I think we, we, we kind of know what we got in Kobe, uh, but see see which one of those young running backs, the wideouts, man, there's a ton of them, man. That's that's a different looking group uh, than uh, than when we first showed up here, just in terms of pure numbers, man. We got we got a bunch, we got a bunch of them right now. We got a healthy uh, healthy unit. So all those guys, uh, I want to see Cam Robinson take that next step from a leadership standpoint, and then just a true command of, of what we're doing uh, up front, and, and just be able to compliment James uh, there. I want to see Chico get back to to where he was uh, a couple years ago, so I'm excited about that. Watch uh, Makai take another take another step. Jason Hammond, uh, Anthony Britton, oh, man, like I said, all of them. I want to see all these guys. Seeking seeking Jonas, like they, I think Jonas got another level. Even though he had a really good season, I think he, I think he still got some more uh, in his ceiling where he can continue to improve. So so that's what the spring is about. Is just challenging each and every one of these guys to come out with the mindset of, of finding something that I can improve every single day. We're going to take a last question from Jackie here uh, because we've got a number of players that need to get going. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, then we'll bring up uh, Gavin Frakes and Jam Jackson for the Zoom call. So mm -hmm. go ahead, Jackie. Um, Davis Lane is with the receivers mm -hmm. now. Any other position changes out there too? So, so he wants to give receiver a shot. He's kind of been trying to figure it out, you know, since he, uh, since he got here. He started at quarterback, DB, now now he wants to give receiver a shot. Uh, Delaney had already moved to receiver. I, w I want to say those are the only uh, positions. We might have a, a position change with one of our uh, younger offensive linemen slash tight end, uh, Andy Lutz. He might go back and forth between uh, tight end and offensive line, just depending upon the depth, because, you know, we are a little bit uh, thin at the tight end position uh, until until we hit the fall when we can actually get uh, Sage and, um, and Tyler uh, full speed going with us.